guys, so today I'm going to show you how to download files off of Etsy and unzip them to use them on your iPad. All of the files from my shop come zipped up and as a digital download that you'll get directly to your computer as soon as you purchase the product. I purchased from a different shop today, a planner shop that sells printable kits, and I'm going to be using that in my planner, but let me just show you how to do the process, and it's exactly the same if you decide to download from my shop or anybody's shop that sells digital zipped files. So the first thing you want to do after purchasing something is you can go to the U tab up here on the right hand side. There you'll see your profile, notifications, conversations, just a bunch of different important things for you. But most relevant to us right now is purchases and reviews. So we'll go ahead and go over there. As I said, I just purchased this kit from Planning Choco. Well, these three kits here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to unzip the first one called the Game of Thrones Printable. So let me go ahead and download all the files. There was that orange button on the right. And you can see we have each of my different planner purchases broken up here and I can download them as needed. Since I'm not using this for a printable kit, I don't need the cut files because this is what her kit can be used for to cut um, if you have like a silhouette or a Cricut or something like that. And I don't also want the PDF because I can't properly use the PDF in my good notes. So what I really want is the JPEG. So let me go ahead and download that. If you're downloading from my shop, the only thing available will be one zip and then all of the other things will be inside of that zipped folder. So you can see down here the download is now complete. I'm going to go ahead and show that in my folder. Here's my jpeg.zip file. So I've made it most of the way done. I'm pretty much got the file I need. But on an iPad, if that's where you're planning to use this, you need to unzip it because you can't use the zip file on an iPad. So in order to unzip on Mac devices or Apple devices, you would simply double click. But you can unzip on any device, I believe, Windows, um, you just right click and there should be an option to unzip, but for Mac, you just double click, it's really simple. And just like that, you can see I unzipped that JPEG folder. So now I have this JPEG file for my Game of Thrones kit and I want to put it somewhere that I can access it on my iPad. Whether that means emailing it to yourself, um, texting it to yourself if you use iMessages, um, or airdropping it to yourself, those are all options. I use Google Drive and then can then access my Google Drive on my, uh, on my iPad. So that's what I want to do here. Let me open my Google Drive in a different tab and pop that out so I have two separate windows. So on the left here, I have my Google Drive and my cat. Hi, Grizzle. <laughs> and on the right here, I'm gonna go back to my downloads and you'll see that JPEG fo fo folder right there. I'm gonna navigate to wherever I want this to be. So in your case, it might be different than mine, but I have a folder system that works for me. And I'm gonna enter planning Choco since that is the shop I purchased from. And this kit is called Game of Thrones. And I'm going to throw this whole JPEG folder in there. So now I have all of the files I need to use this digital kit on my iPad. So let's head on over to my iPad. We don't need this anymore. Let's do iPad now. So once you're in your iPad, Navigate to however you sent your files to yourself, whether you messaged them, emailed them, or saved them in your files like I did. This is the Files app on the iPad, and it holds my Google Drive account as well, so I have access to everything that I put in my Google Drive. I'm going to go to where I saved that kit. And there is everything, all of my files there. If I want to put them into my planner, just swipe up, open Good Notes. I can share screens just like this, and I can add them to my planner here. If you'd like to see how to add stickers to your planner, check out my other tutorial video I did. It'll be linked down below or in the iCard up here, and then you can make wonderful spreads like this one here. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to comment down below and let me know, and I'll be down there addressing them all as much as I can. 
Again, also, if you want to reach out to me, feel free to comment down below or message me on Etsy. I usually respond pretty quick there as well. I hope everything goes smoothly for you. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!